Is Andrea here? This totally sucks. I was supposed to have another like hour to drink this before I got up here. Can you guys hear me all right? I feel like it's like really low. Okay. Failing already. All right. So my name is Andrea Hill. I skate with the Denver Roller Dolls. My derby name is Kendra Blood. And I'm here today to I'm here today to tell you why roller derby should be an Olympic sport. So roller derby has a really bad rap. People think about fake fighting, they think about Raquel Welsh, but really it's a real sport. One of the things that you'll see with uh, modern roller derby that's kind of different from what you've seen in the past is you play on a flat track. And I went way too fast up to this point. All right. Each team consists of five members on the track at the same time, four blockers and one jammer. The jammer lines up behind the pack of blockers. And you can tell who she is because she has a star on her helmet. She is the point scorer. She is the pinball, basically. So the way it works is the jammers line up behind the blockers. A whistle blows. The blockers go. Second whistle goes. The jammers go. Their goal is to get through the pack of blockers and score points. Once they've lapped the member of the opposite team, they're eligible to score points. The point of the blockers is to slow down the opposing jammer, which they can do with full body hits, running in front of people, stopping, and to help their jammer go by giving her whips and pushes. It is incredibly hot and incredibly fun. And it's a real sport. That's the one thing I really want to get through here. It's not faked. There are serious athletics here. People have histories in, I'm a marathon runner, we have soccer players, we have speed skaters. All sorts of regular athletic backgrounds goes into this sport. Then we just throw on a skirt and some roller skates and we get out there. You already right now hear a lot of um, examples in the real Olympic world about you know, short track speed skating. Oh, it's like roller derby or Ski cross, oh, it's like roller derby. Those athletes don't want to be associated with my sport because we all know we don't like physical sports in the Olympics. Thank you, funny, right? Thank you. By the way, I'm Canadian. I was so worried that was gonna bomb. Okay, so all that, why isn't roller derby an Olympic sport already? Well, unfortunately, as much as I would like it to be, and all those people on Facebook signing that petition would like it to be, there are some rules. So basically, in order to be in the Olympics, in the Summer Olympics, a sport has to be played by men in 75 countries over four continents, and by women in 50 countries over three continents. And there has to be an international governing body. So far, we're up to 14 countries in four continents. And I had to throw that in there again, Team Canada, woo. For those of you wondering, yes, men do play as well. You all can play if you'd like. You don't have to, but some guys do. Mostly, most of the men play, who play are in the US. It's not quite around the whole world yet, but it has actually had a history with men playing and there's starting to be a resurgence. There's also already an international governing body called the International Roller Sports Association. It was started back in 1924, so we've been around for a while. Roller sports have shown up in the World Games under a few different disciplines, so artistic roller skating, inline hockey, inline speed skating. Now the one thing to notice here is that roller derby is not yet on this list, so roller derby hasn't shown up yet in the World Games. However, the stage is being set. Roller derby has been, or roller sports has been recognized by the Olympic Association back in the 60s. Roller hockey showed up as a demonstration sport, and they did consider putting roller sports into the Olympics, but golf won. So how do we get there? The, the International Roller Sports Federation needs to recognize roller derby as a discipline. Roller sports needs to get in the Olympics, like we've been trying for years. Thank you. We need increased international participation. We've got a lot of, sk of skaters here in the US already. We need to get that to those different countries. And we need some increased fan support, which is why I'm giving away a couple pairs of tickets here tonight. 
So I hope this has introduced to you guys why I think roller derby is just as viable a sport as curling. And I encourage you guys all to come and check it out. You guys have two of the best um, roller derby leagues in the country right here in Denver, third and fourth in the country, and you guys should check it out. Thank you. Or I will help check you.